Okay, so last time I confused you. A, uh, a deep shear, Maplikis, shown by Akhoi, Rabbi Yishmael, and uh, you find similar a trend. Shun Bayechoi is pure, absolute, the token, no kishtadlis whatsoever, only avodas Hashem. That's it. Avodas Hashem, like Gan Eden. He lived like, as if he was in Gan Eden. He wasn't in Gan Eden. I mean, he was suffering in the cave. He suffered in the cave. Yeah, people, people think Shun Bayechoi, he got, they got meals in everyday space. What? Like, you know, What's the, he ate carrot. He ate he, 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 <laughs> water. Was it, was it, was it, was it, his body like, was, was eaten up because they had to bury themselves in the sand because he was afraid his clothes would get eaten up by, by you know, eventually wear out. So they buried themselves in the sand. It says that after, when he came out, he, his skin was all eaten up, and they, 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 they had to put him through a, ther- a skin therapy. His, 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 Pinchas Ben Yara was his son-in-law. He, 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 he had to give him, you know, treat, treat him in the, in the bathhouse with oils and things. It was terrible. They suffered, but they were taught that he became the Tan Elokai. I mean, Shimba Yechoi, you know, like Bomer, you know, Rabbi Shimon. He was Shimon. He was Rabbi Shimon. He was Rabbi Shimon. And his son, of Elizabeth, Elizabeth Rabbi Shimon, he gained a Madrega. It says when he passed away, that he had a fight with the, with the Rabbonim. He had a whole fight with the Rabbonim, and, 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 and they, 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 they put him in Cherem for something that he did. I'm not going to get into the Maklaikas, but that it, so when he passed away, his wife put him in the attic, and there he was. He was in the attic for 22 years, and he didn't decay. He was in the attic for 22 years. The only thing that worm, one time she saw a worm coming out of his ear, and she said he's beginning to decay. So he came to her in a dream and said, don't worry, because I had, there's a nightish, because one time I heard someone uh, say something negative against the Talmud Chacham, and I didn't protest. So therefore, the English was he got a worm in his ear. And that was it. His body was totally intact for 22 years until the Rabbanan, they heard about it and says, not covered, uh, the son of Rabbi Shimon, Elizabeth Rabbi Shimon, and they gave him a proper burial. So, so th- this is what happened to these people. They, they became Lamala Minateva. Abai Paskins in the Gemara. Abai Paskins, Harvey, that a lot of people tried like Shimon by Yechoi and it didn't work. Don't try it, it's not going to work. Don't try it, it's not going to work. Harvey, also to Rabbi Yishmoel, Rabbi Yishmoel says, you have to Hanib Behem Minik Derech Eretz. He's talking about Tamid HaChachomim, and in those days, they didn't have kolels. <laughs> it was before the invention of the, of the kolel, and they had to work. You know, Hillel was a wood chopper. Uh, uh, Rabbi Yeshua, the famous Rabbi Yeshua, the, the Rebbe of Rabbi Akiva, Rabbi Yeshua was a blacksmith. Uh, Rabbi Yechonim, a sandler. These are people, they, 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 they had a, some sort of profession. It, it, it's all the way through through history, the big time of home, a lot of them, they, they had some sort of profession because you have to, they lived simply. And in those days, it was enough. What did you need? What did you need? You didn't, you know, need electricity. You put on a candle, and that's all you had. Yeah, and you go to the well to get the water, right? And uh, you make your own clothing. So they, they have. It was very, very easy. Not easy, but you know, simple life. So they, they made their. Um, they, they had a stick of parnosa. The, the Ramchal. Ramchal was a. Um, if I'm correct, I think he was a. This gem cutter. He made jewelry. And he did that for an hour a day. And the rest of the time he learned. <laughs> That's pretty good. Only an hour a day. Well, it depends what gems he cut. I just spoke to a lawyer. I just spoke to a lawyer and she says she's doing the same thing. She works an hour a day. Yeah. <laughs> and she's making a hundred grand a year. <laughs> some some lawyers have good looks. Anyway, but um Hanibah Minik Derek Heretz. We have a trusted lawyer. <laughs> the Shaila is for us, us simple folk. Now, we're, we're, how do we look at this? I'm not Shimon Bar Yochoi, I'm not Rabbi Elizabeth of Shimon, I'm not the Ramchal, I, I'm not like the, the, the Chavetz Chaim had a store, he had a grocery store. You know, everybody knows that. 
at a grocery store. He used to, he used to, he made a cheshman how much he needs that day, the whole week, you know, including Shabbos. So he has to make a certain amount of money. As soon as he made that amount of money, he closed the store. Uh, people have to go, you know, buy things. I don't have to go. You go to the other store. Ah, uh, competition. So, whatever is coming to me is coming to me. Whatever is not coming to me, I, just, I have to go through my hishtavas. Now, what does that mean? Go through my hishtavas. So the first thing we have to understand that that the, that what people are asking, what's my hishtavas? What's my fee of hishtavas? Right, that's what people ask me. What's my fee of hishtavas? How much hishtavas am I going you to? To put in, it's, it's the wrong question. Hishtadlis is a result of how much betochem you have. And we have to realize that the main factor over here is betochem. The Chazanish says, Amun, where's, betochem is a mitzvah min Where is it a mitzvah min It says, Anoichi, Anoichi Hashem Alokecha. It's the mitzvah of Amuna. Anoichi Hashem Alokecha, Hashem Alokecha, from the Eretz Mitzrayim. So that's the mitzvah of Amunah. And it's the mitzvah of Amunah in Hashkocha Protes. That's what it says, Sicha Meheris Mitzrayim. Not like the Goyim. The Goyim says there's Hash- God, and God created the heavens and the earth. That's gracious. So all the, I saw this in the Ein Yaakov. In the Ein Yaakov. What's the difference between a Goy and a Yid in, in Amunah? Don't let this get out. What's the difference between a goy and a yid in a muna? Is that by a goy, all they have is friyus ha'olam, oisei shemayim ba'oris. Kodesh Baruch who created the world and started it up. And he wants people to be good and have a good society and to recognize that there's Hashem who is the uh, uh, divine planner, you know, it's, it's, it's intelligent design. There's intelligence design and everything to recognize that and to be a good person. And that's the, the name Noah. That's not our job. Our job is a higher calling. Because we saw you see us Misraim. You see us Misraim is Hashkocha Protis, Ani Hashem Elokecha, Elokecha, Hashem Say Sichem, the Eretz Misraim. So we see that a Kurdish and, and all of the Esamakos were showing Hashkocha Protis that a Kurdish Bokhu was ruling. Nature, not that he wound up the clock and let it go by itself, as Richard Dawkins once said, you know, yeah. he wound up the clock and let it go Watch by me. itself. He didn't even wind up the clock. The, the, the metaverse, the magical metaverse, multiverse wound up the clock in this universe and there's another universe. It's all nonsense. <laughs> no, because Baruch Hu controlled every aspect of nature from the dust with the kingdom the animals the sky the shamayim and even the nefesh he took took away people's lives he controls everything he's in charge of everything so that's our job not only that but he made it different he doesn't say that by the going and this is something that we have to Concentrate on. Ani Hashem Elokecho. I'm your God. Because has a relationship, a special relationship with the Yid. We have a special relationship with the Rebbeinu Shalev. What do we say? Baruch Ato Hashem Elokeinu. God can't say that. He's not Elokeinu. He's Elokim. They have to recognize he's Elokim. It's not Elokim. We say... Elokeinu, because we have a special relationship and we have a special Ashgach so I'll get to that in a second. So, the Groh has a very important statement in Mishle. If you want to write it down, you can look up the Groh, Perech Hopez, Pasuk Yutes. The Groh says, in the Birah Groh, everybody thinks, I'm sorry, I didn't make copies of this one. Maybe I have it over there. Will I? I have it over there. Good. So, <clears throat> we think that the talk, and this I heard from my, this type I heard from Rav Scheinberg, I heard from Rav Scheinberg, my, my, my Rebbe, we think that in order to learn, you have to have the talking. So the talking is a way for you 
for a, 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 an avrech. An avrech. How does an avrech learn? How does he sit in kol? It's got to have a token. But tochen is a hechet timsi, is a means to get to the end of sitting and learning, becoming an avrech, learning kol terakulo. If you have a tochen, you can sit and learn. Along comes the Grua, and he turns the whole thing topsy turvy. Iker nesinas hatayra li Yisroelis kadei shiyosimu b'tchaynim b'ashem. It's the other way around. Why did the Kodesh Baruch Hu give us Tyra, Tyra and mitzvahs? Because this teaches us about Hashem and to put our betochen in Hashem through doing the Tyra and the mitzvahs. We are mishabed ourselves. We're not free. That's a tr- tremendous amuna. A tremendous amuna. We believe in the Torah, and we know we're not free, and we want to follow the mitzvahs. And I know that if I follow the mitzvahs, I'm following Hashem's will. That means I believe in Hashem. And I believe that He created the Torah because that's the proper manual, the handbook of action and thought to get through this world, that he want, the things that he wants from us. And by my doing the Torah, and my following the mitzvahs, and becoming a good soldier in Hashem's army, I develop and I start coming to a realization. I look around me and I come to an awareness of Hashem is running the world. I'm able to see that. Yidna able to see that, able to see Ashkoch of And that's the, that's the goal. The goal is betochen, because betochen is, the, the Meshach Chochma says, what's betochen? Is, where, where's, where's the posseh for, for betochen? This is in Marsha Shekhoff, right? Bosidbo. 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 Bo Sidbo. Bo Sidbak. I don't know what that means. Bo Tidbak. Bo Dovik to Akurish Borokno. Be attached. You know, glued. <laughs> Devik. Be glued to Akurish Borokno. The more you're glued to Akurish Borokno, Bo Sidbo. Be attached to him. See him. The more you're attached to him, and that's that's what we're going to get to right now. The more you're attached to him, the more your betokhan works. What's pshat? So Chaimi wanted asked me to uh, get a little bit down to earth. This famous Rav Dessler, it's also based on Levi, and it's based on a Masil Shasharim. We live in the world of Rabbi Yishmoel, and Abai Paskins, you don't have this, we, we live in a world of Rabbi Yishmoel, Rabbi Yishmoel, and Abai Paskins, like Rabbi Yishmoel, we have to do Ishtadlis. How much Ishtadlis? Where did the Chi of Ishtadlis come from? Where does the Chiv Ishtadlis come from? Before the Chet of the Eitz Adas, Kodesh put us into Gan Eden, down here. Not Gan, Gan Eden, you know. But he put, he made Gan Eden down here. Oda Marisham and Chava, all their needs were taken care of. They had water, they had uh, food, they had air conditioning. <laughs> everything they needed, all the delicacies. Says the malachim did their every bidding. The malachim even roasted meat for, and, 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 and made wine, served them wine, wine and meat. There was a really, talking about very esoteric terms. Meat is the meat of Torah, the understanding of Torah, and wine is the secrets of, of, the, of Kabbalah. But that's esoteric. But, but all their needs were taken care of in Gan Eden. All you have to do is be a total Evid Hashem. Give up your, your own desires and only have the desires I want to serve Hashem. And he blew it. Everybody knows the story. It's a das with the nachash. And he got kicked out of Gan Eden. And what was the punishment? Punishment. The result? This guy was a punishment or result? Bezeas apecha toichal lechem. Have to work. Let's go to work. So Mesil Shoshon comes along with a very big chiddush. Says bezeas apecha toichal lechem is a klolo. It's 
curse, right? The earth is not going to give out what it, what it used to give out. It's a claw, it's a curse. And it's an oynish. Is there a mitzvah to be marvin in a claw? <laughs> you know, people, people want, you know, I have to work. It's a mitzvah to work. You know, sheish yom and talbot tasek kol malach techa v'yom ha'shvi. Sheish yom and tasek kol malach techa. You know, I got to do everything. I got to work hard. Six days. Say, no, not a mitzvah to work. It's a klolo. It's a mitzvah to be marba a klolo. So, 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 if it was a, if we were perfect people, living in Rebbe Yishmoel, in his world, I'm not talking about Shimon Bar world. But if living in, in Rabbi Yishmael's world, if it was a, if we were perfect people, we would do the bare minimum just to be Yitzi to Klalom. If I do something that it's possible to look at it, somebody from the outside and say, This is I'm in the world of nature now. If you're in the world of nature, in the realm of nature, underneath the Shlita of nature. So and I did something. It look you could touch it up as natural. It mm. it doesn't look like a miracle. Kachbroker doesn't like us to do miracles. Don't be son of an Don't 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 get me to do nisim to for you. But if you if if it's something that looks like a natural cause and effect, it could be. That's it. You it. Now now go back to color. And go back to Kohl. And we're not doing that. Why not? Because we live in an oil of the devil. And I look around, and I know from my experiences, and it doesn't work like that. And come on, come on, Rabbi. Come down into the real world, Rabbi. You know, you got to... It doesn't work like that in the real world. So everybody's nervous. And then if I don't, if I don't, if I don't work, you know, over time... And if I don't make the right connections, and I don't do, do all the advertising, and I don't make all the you know the, the, all the connections and everything that I have to do, then it's it's, it's not going to work, and therefore I'm nervous. I, I can't have the talking. So we don't do the talking because we're nervous. Because we really don't believe it. It's very nice. Rabbi is talking, but we don't believe it. Mesil Shoram said it, but it's, that's nice for the Mesil Shoram, but I don't believe it. So what's pshat? So the Beis Halevi says, the klal is, you have to do enough ishtadlis, you have to say, I want to become a Baal B'tokhan. Because that's the eager tachlis of the Torah, is to become a Baal B'tokhan. And I do enough ishtadlis, that I'm calmed down. I feel the amount of ishtadlis that I did, it could work. It could work. I'm not going to say it on my head. But it, it, it's reasonable. Says the Beis Levi, if, if you could get to a level that the amount of Ishtadlis that you did is enough, you do any more Ishtadlis, it's in the Beirut. He brings a Meister from Yosef. Yosef said to the Sarah Mashkin, Pamayim, he says, Zohar Sarkhatani, he said, Remember me. And don't forget, remember me. That second time blew it. It was enough. Oh, here's my Drago. I mean, he was a big Baba talking because his whole life was for talking. So you have to do a stuff. So you say something, you know, Zakhartani once, twice. Ooh. So there you got two years. So the same thing with us. If you do too much Ishtadlis, you do too much Ishtadlis, so then it's an Avera. You do too little ishtadlis, it could be, if you're not calm, it's not going to work because you have to believe it. I heard, I heard the name of, of, uh, of uh, David Salavechik. He says, he says ishtadlis is like a tranquilizer pill. Just to calm you down till you get to the madrega where you can have the talking. That's, that's what ishtadlis is. So he asked me how much ishtadlis until it tranquilizes you, until you calm down. I'm, I'm talking, I'm talking big, like you know, I'm not in the business world, but, but it's, 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 is it possible? Is it possible? So, so. What do you mean? But, 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 but. You're supposed, you're supposed to do the minimum of natural 
natural style. That's what you mean. Well, what do you mean you come down or you don't come down? It's your problem if you don't come down. You have to no, work, I'm not work yourself to come that's down. That's right. That's right. If I did the right thing. But, but it, it does. It, it doesn't work like that. No. It doesn't. If I if there's a false betokin. There's a false betokhan. A person thinks he's a big Baal betokhan. You have that, un uh, unfortunately, a lot, uh, a, a lot of people in, 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 in our community, they have false betokhan. Hashem Yazor. They're walking around the whole day saying Hashem Yazor. Now, they, they, don't, really, guy, they, they, they the, don't really believe it. That guy didn't pay the rent. I asked him, what's going to be? Hashem Yazor. Right? <laughs> yeah. What do you want from me? Hashem <laughs> Yazor. He doesn't have betokhan. A, per, a person's got. No, what a I'm, person, asking is, I'm asking is, this. person has got the token. He's got responsibility. It's my chiyuv. Lova rasha below yishalim. If if he's if he's taking a service and he doesn't pay, he's a rasha. Chas v'shol. My name is Shem Yazor. You're a rasha. Now you've got to figure out what to do. There's a lot of people with false betokhan, and they they don't they 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 they, they, they the credit card syndrome like you know the. Just swipe the credit card and you show me Azo. It doesn't work like that. Well, what should be the phrase? <laughs> huh? What should be the, what, what's the appropriate? First of all, you have to be live frugal. No, I hear, no, I'm saying even like just the phraseology, like, the, you know, like. No, but talk, again, this is Chavis Halavodas. Let me, let me give you, it, this is Chavis Halavodas. Um, it depends whether you really believe that a Kodesh Baruch was in charge. This, this, here. Last, along with the Groshita, along with the Groshita, this, this is this is a Sefer, a Munash Gokha. It's not written by the Groh, it's written by Shmuel Malson, who is a Talmud of the Groh, in, this, in the, the, the Hagoyas, in the, the, the notes on the bottom, and in the back of Evan Shlema were compiled by him, Shmuel Malson. Uh, he, he says like this: there, 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 there are three madrigas. There are three madrigas. Again, it depends upon who you are, how you feel about it. The highest madriga that says the world is divided up to three madrigas. The highest madriga is the son, the Ben Mela, the son, the son, the, the, the son of the of the king. He got the king. He's running the country. He's got a son. He watches over his son like a hawk. He doesn't leave it up to anybody else. He isn't watching over, doing everything, making sure whatever is necessary for the, the education of the son, the, the well-being of his son. He is directly in charge. He doesn't leave it up to any shliach. That was the Hanhaga of the Kodesh Borgo with the Sadiqim. In, 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 in the, 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 he wants to say, it's not even the others. Not even the others. The, the big Sadiqim, they have, they had a special relationship with the Rebani Shalalim. Kodesh Borgo was watching over the, everything about them. The second Hanhaga uh, is his generals, his army chief of staff, his, the, the people in his army, these are dedicated soldiers. They're soldiers, they're in the service of the king. Now, the king wants to make, give, make sure that they have whatever they need for their, for, 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 their, for their service, for their actions, for their duties. So therefore, he, 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 he oversees shluchim. He doesn't do it, but he's got a whole cadre of Shlufim. He's got generals and colonels and, 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 and captains and lieutenants and corporals and, 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 and officers. And he's got a whole bunch of Shlufim and they're, they're, they're make, give, giving all the necessary needs. They, they have to have food, they have to have their, their uniform, they have to have their, 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 their guns and all the, the kalim, whatever, and uh, munition and, and artillery they need, whatever, whatever is necessary, the jeeps, and he, and he and the king pays for it, but it goes through all the whole, the whole, the whole system. But the king is watching over it from a distance. Then you got the regular people. Regular people, the king is also interested in, and he's from a distance watching over everything. But then he's got the 
governor and the, the mayor and the head of the police department and the head of the postal service and the, the, this paquid and that paquid and he's got a whole, whole slew of, of very low. That's what nature is. Nature is you're getting more and more into these shluchim who are running nature and that's what nature is, running nature Really, ultimately, it's Kodesh Baruch Hu running it. Klapia Kodesh Baruch Hu, he, he knows exactly what's going on. I, th I think it's less who's in charge. It's more what's the responsibility of, of charge. You know what I mean? A soldier comes with no money. He doesn't need to work for his food. Someone takes care of all his needs. But it's, it's not a, a, a way of looking of someone that you care about him very much. You just need to make sure he lives good enough to do his job. Someone, the regular people down that have shluchim, it's someone that he needs to take care of himself. If he's going to be too poor, or if he's going to get sick very soon, you have a system that takes care of the edges. Yeah, that's what the Goyim say. God helps those who help themselves. <laughs> no. God is a Kaddish prophet, a shkafel protest on everybody. Every yid. The goyim, I don't know. I can't say about the, there's a shkafa prophets even on the animals. There's a homais with the best, and then the, 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 there's rice from the midrashim. Even animals have a shkafa prophets, but it's a different type of shkafa prophets. It's, it's, it's not. It's it's a shkafa prophets because Kodesh Baruch promised he's going to take care of everybody in nature. That's all. He's a part of the bria. Kodesh Baruch takes care of him, but it's not. But but he wants the welfare of his of the yidden. Therefore, Akash Baruch is directing every Yid, every Yid, every Yid, according to Ram Chal, is born with a mission. There's, 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 there's two, two issues. This is where Rosh Hashanah Drasha, Ram Chal, the Ram Chal goes as a whole, the Chaim Friedlander, based on the Ram Chal. Uh, so he's, got, he's uh, there, there are two dinam in Rosh Hashanah. One is the brownie points. You know, how many, how many misses did you do? How many averas did you do? And you know, you get, you know, so, so you, you weigh, weigh the misses and the weigh the averas, you know, the, 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 all the Gemara and Yuma, the Gemara and that, that's, that's one din on a person. Another din on a person, a person is, has a mission. Everybody's born with a mission. Who are you? What are you going to be? What, what do I want you to do? Uh, it's like the the the, the, the time calls it an orchestra. We can look at it as an army. Every 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 soldier's got it. He's got his job. Now his job is important because if you don't do that job, then the whole the whole tactical uh, you know uh, scene gets gets blown apart. It's going to fall apart. Everybody's got to do his job. It's it's a thousand soldiers. Everybody's got his little part, and everything's necessary for the bigger goal. Of a, a, a Kodesh Baruch Hu's, uh, grand plan, which we're getting close to, right? But everybody has his mission. It's like an orchestra. The Chavos Chaim calls it like an orchestra. You have to have a piccolo, and you have to have a clarinet, and you have to have a flute, and you have to have the violins, and then and, and the cellos, and the saxophone, yeah, and, and the drums, and every everybody's got his part in the grand orchestra. Now, if the the violinist drops her violin and runs over and wants to bang on the drums, on the kettle drums, it's going to ruin the whole thing. We hired you to be a, a violinist, not to bang on the kettle drums, but bang on the kettle drums makes no more noise than a violin. I want to make a lot of noise. That's not your mission. That's not your mission. So what we have to recognize is that everything Kodesh Baruch Hu is in charge of everything. And the Kodesh Baruch Hu is nature. He's running nature. And the Meforshim, Meforshim say, we say, Baruch Ato Hashem. Hashem is the Shema Etzim. That's the Kodesh Baruch Hu. That represents Hashem himself. Elokeinu, from the word Elokim. What's Elokim? What's the gematria of Elokim, anybody? 86. What's the gematria of Ha-Teva with the hay? 
86. Nature is Elohim. It's just a cover-up. It's a smoke screen. Everything's Elohim. So it's really a Kurdish book of running everything through the smoke screen, the smog of, of, of nature. So that's how you answer the, the Hashem Yazor, the Chaim was saying? Like, if the guy's Kavana was, I trust Hashem's smoke screen to work, and I'll be able to pay you the rent. So then you're, no, you're, so you're within Teva, so you have to work within Teva and do something in a natural way, because the book, book, book says, oh, you trust Teva? You trust Teva? So you shouldn't, oh, so, so. You're trusting Teva. It's natural, so do something natural. Figure out a way to get money in the bank to pay the... To no, but you said that bills. wasn't the correct no, you said the, Originally, the, the point was that you shouldn't say Shem Yazor because... No, you should saying, say Shem Yazor. We need to do we this. Get to the action. action. Way. He, 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 he doesn't this. believe it. He's living in Teva. He's saying words. Not no, you're it. saying to him he has to go through Teva to do it. It's because that's what he's holding. Where, where is he holding? What does he see? He says Hashem Yazor. He doesn't really believe it. So what should be the phraseology? But what, like, someone says, okay, I need rent. Of course we have to do the phraseology. We have to work on ourselves. Everything is working on ourselves. Everything is 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 um, what's the is proper internalizing. Response? What's the he proper response to, to what to well, Kaim's question? What will be the proper response within? I'll do everything I can. To I will do everything I can, and, and, and I will do everything I can. Because he, because he's living in a world where he feels that he is doing it. Deep I'm down. asking, what's the best? So answer. I know about the he says, if he says I know you know what I'm just saying, happy you think that I gotta go out and make your money now. <laughs> yeah. yeah, right. I have to go figure out how to get paid because obviously what, it's not what he's asking, I think, that what will be with Balbi Tokhan will right? yeah, answer the situation. Uh, that yeah. was, you're saying to him, he's saying, I can't pay you, Hashem Yazor. And you're like, I'm very happy, Hashem Yazor helps you, I gotta go make your money now. No, I gotta go make words, I doesn't believe it. Right. Is that doing the right thing? Or what what the ball Hashem Yazor is only if you do the right First thing. Hashem Yazor. If you're not doing the right thing, Hashem Yazor. A, 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 lot, a lot of people live. The guy jumps off the roof. Hashem Yazor, I'm not going to die. Hashem Yazor. A lot of people live. Jump, 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 jump off the roof. <laughs> a lot of people living in a dream world and they've, they've psyched them. If, if you watch the Democrats in America, they, they have a whole narrative. <laughs> it's totally divorced from reality. So, I mean, it happens by the Yidden also. They're totally divorced from reality. You know, it, it can't be. It has. You have to be. That's, that's why sitting and learning is so important. When you, when you sit and learn, you, 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 you learn how to dissect reality. And by dissecting reality, when you, when you learn a toysis, you learn the Zahavami and the Maskana, and you learn how to you know, take apart a toysis, so then when you go back and you look in your mind, you start taking apart your mind and figuring out you know, what, what, you, what, what is your real belief and what is your fake belief. That, that's that's that that's what a person has to be a psychologist on himself. If the person's real, what should the response be? Like you're real, you're Bob What? Well, well, why is he Bob Who says he's Bob No, if, if, he, is, he, he is. 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 He you know, he did this thing no. in the store. He walked into a store and he, he, he said, I, I, I want to work. Can you? The guy said, what are you doing here, Steiner? I, I, I owe some money. I have, I have to work. The guy right away said, no way, you're not working. I said, he, he did what he's supposed to do. Say, Again, it... I don't believe he's a Baba. He's not a real Baba Talk. He's trying. What he's asking. He's a Baba Talk. Not him. He's talking about something else. Now, how a real Baba Talk will act in this situation? Wait, a real Baba Talk? Yeah, give me the best case scenario, right? The best case scenario is Rabzushin. The famous Maisa with Rabzushin. You know Rabzushin? Rabzushin. Rabzushin. Maisa with Rabzushin was the brother of Rabbi Eli Mel. So he had a small kolo. The Chavraya Kadisha, they called him. The Chavraya Kadisha. So every month he used to give a certain stipend. He used to have people in the, in the neighborhood who, who supported them. They lived very simply. I mean, it's like, you know, it wasn't, uh, we're not talking about, you know, but, you know they, they lived, in po- lived in poverty. But, uh, and there was a certain Gavir who, for a couple of weeks, had just sort of like, you know, dried up. I hadn't been giving them. And so the funds were dwindling and they didn't have enough money. 
and uh, they were starving. They, they pushed, didn't have, didn't have money, you know, not to, not to give the kids, they, didn't have, they, could, they couldn't feed the kids, they couldn't feed themselves, they, we can't live in Ireland, so we're starving. You know, the Zushi, do something. So they found, they forced the Zushi to go out and go, go to the Gavir, he's a Gavir, I mean, he, 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 and you know, try to find out why he stopped you know, donating. So the Zushi went over to the Gavir's house. He put his hand on the door handle. And he stopped a second. And he took his hand off the door handle and went back. They went wild. Maybe you didn't do anything. What kind of stylus is that? Why well, you did put your hand on the door handle? And the Zusha was oblivious to everything. He went back to Zavodis Hashem and he just. A couple of hours later, the Gvir comes running into the base Medrash with one bag full of bread and the other bag full of food. And, and, and it's, he Chevra, lunch! And he brought them lunch. Wow. That's his stop. He's just putting the hand on the door handle. What's the shot? He did the minimum his necessary. What kind of stuff is that? Because. <laughs> to make it look, not a hishtadlis, it looks alpitava, but he did a hishtadlis that now there's a mokum chalois for it not to look like a nest. Why? Why? Because somebody told the Gavir, you know, the Rebbe was here. The Rebbe, he was, he was debating whether it'll go in or not, but he gets must got cold feet, he didn't want to bother you, so he, put, he took his hand off the door handle and went back. Rebbe, Rebbe, I, I insulted the Rebbe, he doesn't want to come in. So I, oh, I write, I haven't been there in a while. So then he, he, he went to the you know, store and he bought, he bought the stuff and he walked in. <laughs> For him, that was, that, that was the epitome, that was minimum ashtadlis. That was the one Zachar Not two. <laughs> so just that, That's a real Baba topic. Okay, so now, I get through our solution story. So now time says rent. We're not there. Assume no, wait, we're not wait. there. Someone no, 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 is no, renting no, no. here. Just I want to ask a question. Why is renting here? Is he a Zusha or is he? What? He's renting an office for rooking, right? Oh, he's, not, already, already he's, not, he's, he's not renting a place to sitting and learning. You're already in the world of not there. You're in, you're in the if room. You're, <laughs> a person. Why are you renting, are you renting your show line for 7,000 shekels? Go to go to spot. I'll give you the same place for 3,000 shekels if you can't afford it. You can bob it up. The way, the way it was put to me when I was a young man, when I was a you know, wet behind the ears, like, you know, before I knew anything. So, 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 so there, there are two, two highways. There's a highway of the Avrech, he's got one Mahalach, Rabbi Shmoyel, you know, whatever that is, and then the, and then the highway of a person who's working. Once you're on that highway, now there are turnoffs and stops and, 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 and maybe like a side roads and things like that, and, but, but, but once you're on that highway, you've got to follow the rules of that highway. Each highway has its own rules. So now, if you're in that world, and the economy, you have, you're in the world of Ishtabas, do Ishtabas. Response should be the kind of, okay, I'm doing everything I can. No, get it. Everything you can means it has to be seichel dick. It's reasonable, not that you have a wild idea. The, the answer, I think the so answer the is, you have, to, you, have, you have to say Hashem Yazor, not to Chaim. It's a good time. I'm gonna do everything I can do to to get your money, and then go to the hotel and ask Hashem Yazor, That's not right. to tell Chaim Hashem Yazor. That's right. When he says Hashem Yazor, you must you say you must say my name is Hashem. <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing. That's the first thing. Yeah. You say Hashem Yazor. Basically, he's basically tell you get lost, get out of the money. <laughs> <laughs> That's what basically he's telling. A real Baba Tuffin, a real Baba Tuffin, depends on, I don't want to tell you, Hanina Ben Daisy, he was way up there. Okay, there's, there's the famous Mice of the Alsha. There's the famous Mice of the Alsha. I don't know, you've, I, I, maybe you've heard the Mice of the Alsha with the donkey? You've heard the Mice of the Alsha with the donkey? I'll tell you. There's the famous Mice of the Alsha, was a big Darshan in Svas, I don't know how many, three, four hundred years ago. 
and um, we had a yeshiva there, and he used to come visit. Gavaldi Gadarshan, big town of Chacham, Moshe Al Shef. And uh, there was a simple person, he was a uh, trucker. Trucker. I mean, he had a, an old broken down cart with a, a donkey, and he used to go up into the mountains, and he dug out dirt, and he bring it back to the city and sold it to the uh, builders. The builders needed uh, dirt to make cement, whatever they had, they needed dirt for. So it was backbreaking work, and he made pennies. He lived in abject poverty. And on Shabbos afternoon, so the Alshef gave a drasha on the token, and he said, "If you really have the token, really, Kosh Baruch who's in charge." Kashbarko brings the Parnassah. You're not bringing the Parnassah. If you really had the Tachim, you wouldn't have to work at all. Wow. I don't have to work. I don't have to work. I'll shift the Rebbe said, I don't have to work. So he, he went back home. And he told his wife, the Rebbe said, I don't have to work. So he took out a tillum. He sat by the oven, you know, it was cold over there, and it was in winter. And he started saying to him all day. So his wife says, Chatham the Mishigas. I mean, like, how long has it been taking until he gets out of this thing? He says, Snap out of it, guy, you know, we need. So, 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 she, she badgered him every day. And he says, The Rebbe says, If I have been talking, I don't have to work. Why do I have to do back breaking work and, 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 and work like a slave? If a Kunshbok is going to take care of it, I believe a Kunshbok is going to take care of it. Just leave me alone, and we'll be fine. And he sat and said to him. And she, every day, and you know, there's, there's no more money, and, and she's got to feed, feed the family. So she, she said, my husband, my husband came with sugar. I mean, like, you know, he lost his mind. So, so she sold the donkey and sold the car to, to, to an Arab, and she got a little bit of money, and was able to, you know, schlep it out of her in another couple of, you know, maybe a week or two, you know, or something. And then, after that, so that, then the money ran out again. And she started crying to him, we have no money, what are, you, what are we gonna do now? We have no money. She says, whatever is supposed to be, it's supposed to be, Kosh was in charge, but aren't you happy that we sold the donkey? Just imagine, if we still have the donkey, we have to feed the donkey too. So <laughs> anyway, one day, she hears something in the chutzah, and she goes outside, and the donkey came through the gate, and the cart was loaded with bags. Sand. With bags, and she opened the bags, and it was jewels, coins and jewels, a treasure, and just floating, flowing out of, out of the bags. Hashem said, go back, keep on saying till him. It works, it works, it works. You have a tough work, say more till him, say more till him. What happened? What happened? The Arab, he went into the mountain, and he like, came across a treasure buried inside a cave, and he filled up his bags with, with the treasure, the coins and the jewels, whatever they were, and he put it on top of the cart. Then he went back into the cave, and then a boulder came loose from the top of the mountain and came down and killed him. The donkey sitting standing there, you know, a stupid donkey, he doesn't know what to do, you know, it's getting dark and he wants to, he's getting hungry. And he wants to, so where does he know how to go? He, he, know, he knows his old home. He, that's, where, that's, that's the way he knows. He knows his old home. So he went back to his old home and he came home. So the Talmudim of the al Shif, they had a kind of under Rebbe. Here we are, we're working on ourselves. We are Talmudim Chachamim, we're learning Shara B'Tachim of the Chavos Alavavis, we're, 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 we're trying to follow the Groshit, and it's Gatenish, it's not going. It's not happening. Why not? So there are two versions of the story. One version. He said, if you stick, take a stick and you put it into the ground, so if, it, right? so if the ground is hard, it hasn't been worked out, so the stick will, will stand up. But if it's you know, dirt that's been ground up a little bit, so, so 
it's going to fall over. It's, it's, there's nothing to support it. You got to stick it in deeper. It says, you're a Talmud Chacham. So you start clearing the shaivas. I'll leave it a Shem I have this. I'll leave it a Rabbi Shmuel. I have this. I'll leave it a Grah. And then, then there's the Ramban Shita. And then I don't know. Do I should follow Ramban Shita or should I follow Rashi Shita? And which Shita serve? And you start clearing. And, and that, so you're clearing. You're constantly thinking about it. Uh -uh. Don't think so much. If you have, it's like they have a saying in, in, in the old country. If you have to ask, the answer is no. <laughs> you know. If you're asking already, the answer is no. A Baal is, that's the way it is. When, 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 when the, other, the, other, the other version of the story is that some, one of his Talmudim said, oh, if he could do it, I could do it. So he went and he sold his whatever source of Parnas. And he sat and went back went to the base magic. And nothing happened. And then he came to the Rebbe. How come this, this, this simple, simpleton for him, the Betochen work, and I'm a big Talmud Chacham, I'm a big Tzaddik, I've davened very to the Kodesh Baruch and I did it, it didn't work. He says, let me ask you a question. Whenever you heard noise in the Chatzah, what did you do? Did you go to the window to see if your donkey was coming? Yeah, sure. So you didn't trust the Shem, you trusted the donkey. <laughs> when, they, when his wife when his wife came to the, to, to, to the simpleton, to the sand, the, the, the trucker, the, the cart driver, and she said, you know, keep on saying, tell him, your betochen worked. He says, what's his answer? What else is new? Of course it worked. <laughs> That's simple. Because God's going to provide. Because God's going to provide. So, so if it's a simple thing, it's the most simple, of course God pro pro provides. And this is, and I believe it. Famous story of Rabbi Chanina ben Daisa. That's, that's a little bit hater from us because he remembers the Shini of Teva. But Chanina ben Daisa, his daughter, he was known for all his miracles. He was a miracle maker. Miracle maker. His daughter came, Arab Shabbos, and she, by mistake, filled up the, 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 the candles with vinegar instead of olive oil. Like, what do we do now? I filled, it, it all filled up with, olive, with, with vinegar. We don't have time before Shkia to, 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 we have, we have to light candles already. He says, what are you worried about? Hashem who said that Shemin should light, will say that vinegar lights. What's the difference? Okay. That's what the Tata, what the tata said. So she went and lit the candles. And they stayed lit until Moetzi Shabbos. They made Havkala on the fire of the vinegar. Misha Amar Shashem. That's a real Baba Tukum. There's only a Kodesh Baruch Hu. So of course it's going to happen. Of course it's going to happen. How much time do I have? Two minutes, I want to tell you a story. I want to tell you, I want to tell you a story. And it blew my mind. And, and this, this happened in, uh, it happened in, in, I don't know, somewhere in America. Maybe it was Lakewood or Muncie. It was, it was an Avrek. It was Erev Yontif and this Avrek. They had no money, and they, 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 they was coming close to, to, to Yantaf, and they had, you know, they had to get prepared for Yantaf. He, he had no money to go to, go to the supermarket. So his, his wife said, I have a Betochen. Now this is like, you know, the, we, I wouldn't advise it to us. For us, it's false Betochen. But she really had Betochen. I have a Betochen Hashem. Hashem not going to let us down. Go to, you go to the supermarket, here's the list, she gave him a whole long list, fill up the shopping cart, and I'm going to say to Hillam, and I'm going to dive him, and on my talk, it's going to work out. You're going to be able to pay. Do me a favor. Just go. She took him, right? Get in the car and go to the supermarket. Okay, so I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know how to do it. He had no money in the bank. He didn't have any money, money in the credit card. The credit card was dead. He had no cash. I was just going to pay for this thing, but his wife, you know, he called up his wife. Are you for, for real? Just buy the stuff. So he went in and started filling up. He started filling up the shopping cart with all the stuff. He gets halfway through. He gets cold feet. Goes, he, he gets on the phone with his wife. He said, don't worry. I'm saying to Hillim, it's going to be, but I don't know. I, I, can't, I can't pay. I can't pay. Said, don't worry about it. It's going to be okay. So he fills up the, the cart. And he's about to go to the line. 
he gets cold feet again, calls up his wife. I, but are you crazy? What am, how am I supposed to pay for all this? I don't have any cash. I have nothing. I'm saying, tell him, Shem is going to, you know, Shem is going to take care of us. You, you're going to be able to pay for it. He gets in line, and he's one away from the end. And there's only one person ahead of him. He panicked. He's 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 shaking. He's he turned white. He runs to the back of the store and. He, what do you want from me? You you make me sugar. I have no way of paying for this. It's going to be a big chalashem. She says, I'm saying to Hillam, don't worry. So he goes back to the line. Now it's his turn. Now the guy behind him, what's wrong with you? It's Erev Yontif, and this is what you do. You're holding up the whole line. What's, what's, what's get on with it already. He, he was ready to fall through the floor. So embarrassed that he's being yelled at. So, 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 so he, he, his mind just went into automatic. He starts, you know, taking things out, putting them on a count on the on, on the cashier's counter, you know, checkout counter, right? And he's gonna, right? And then finally puts the last thing on there, ding, and he looks at the cash register, and he just stares at it, and he's frozen. He doesn't know what to do now. All of a sudden, the guy behind him, he must have had. Corrupted that he had yelled at him, embarrassed him in public. Took his credit card and swiped it. The, 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 the card reader. So, <laughs> okay. So, he put everything in the card, like, right? And he goes, he goes outside. He didn't go to his car. He waited outside for the, for the guy to come out. He said, I don't know how to thank you. You saved my life. You saved my life. And then he told him the whole story. He was in a break. He doesn't have any money. But his wife said, I'm the Swiss of her Beethoven, that you know, he's going to be able to do it. And I went in, I listened to my wife, and I just said, thank you. The guy was so impressed, the mysterious nephesh of this avre, he says, just a minute. He took out a checkbook. He wrote out 12 checks, post-dated checks, for $1,000 a month. Here. I'm supporting you for a year in cola. Take this. Not only did he get his groceries paid for, he got twelve thousand dollars cola gelt because of his wife's before. Now, what's the difference between this and this guy, the, the, this wife and this guy? She really believed it. She really believed it. If the Tafin is Chaydas Halavavis. If you really believe it, it'll work. Okay? To be continued. <laughs> and I didn't get to the other things. I didn't get to these things yet. I'll save this for next time. Can I make a short question? Yes. How do we know that we decided like we have it? We are like an army of God and how do I know that I'm making my right mission? Ooh. When you figure that out, tell me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You feel it. Yeah. When you feel drawn to a certain derech, right? When you feel now, you could. There's some people in, in our history. We've had big brains. One brain is drawn to being a professor, Jewish. Guy learned to be a shiva, but he gets drawn to being a professor. Or he gets drawn to being a Russian shiva. Or he gets drawn to being a violinist. Or he gets drawn to being a chazan or a singer. Now, of course, if you do a Vodas Akodesh, the same mission in a Vodas Akodesh of Abe, of course. But a Kosh Bokho, along the way, gives you little. You feel it. You feel it. Now you have to. You have to be very, very, very sensitive, and listen to your heart. He's leading you. 